number of retractions. Uh, how can peer review play a role in this to arrest this trend? Mm. So I think the rate of retractions is not necessarily increasing, but we are seeing more retractions for two reasons. One, because the literature output is growing, and two, we're uh, using different technologies or new technologies to be able to identify cases of um, largely where publication ethics have been flouted. I'm not sure that it's a burden reviewers can stand to police everything that they look at. I'm not sure that's the function of peer review um, to, to police it in that way. Um, and to that they, they have an obligation to look at the, the quality and the content of a manuscript for sure. Um, but as a couple of people have said to me on different occasions, often peer review in the whole editorial process is really about trust. So we have to be, as publishers and as managing editors, we have to be as watertight as we can be in our processes. We have to, we have to be careful about what we're looking at and we have to make sure we have tight processes in place. Um, we have to make it easy for reviewers to be able to um, look at, for example, images to make sure that um, there's no clear evidence of image manipulation. Um, we have to make sure that reviewers, uh, if they've got doubts about whether a paper has been plagiarised, then we give them the tools to be able to, to, to check that, or we check it ourselves. Um, we, but, but, but peer review is one thing, and editorial governance is another thing, and editorial control is another thing.